Hi and welcome to my channel and this is going to be a tutorial on how to solve this pentacle cube by Chi and it's a really fun cube and it's actually more challenging than you might expect it uh, really requires a lot of focus and concentration in order to get this solved so uh, the way you do it is in three steps the first step is the most difficult one technically it's not difficult per se it's just difficult the way it's executed with this puzzle so what you need to do is you first solve these corners as you would solve a two by two while ignoring everything else the cube itself as you see in it, it consists of corners centers and these uh, kind of uh, the pentacle portions right here so the first thing you're going to do is solve the 2x2 two two portion. And the difficulty is that whenever you do the al each algorithm to put them in, you're going to have to turn basically three or four different pentacle faces in order to solve it, in order for, for each and every single move of the algorithm. And it could easily cause you to lose your place if you're not focused. So that's the first step, and it's the most difficult one. Once you get that done, then you align the centers with the corners which is fairly simple and the last step is you put in the pentacle pieces which is kind of similar to how you would solve a 5x5 five five. so uh, in solving this cube first and foremost you must be able to solve a 2x2 two two proficiently in other words you have to be consistently and easily be able to solve a 2x2 two two cube before trying to solve this puzzle also preferably you should be able to solve a 5x5 five five cube as that understanding 5x5 five five, uh, reduction principles will help you with uh, solving this as well Okay, so let's get to it. So uh, let's see what we'll start with. And let's start with green, because I see we already have two corners in their proper place. As you, could, as you could see, this one has green and orange. This one has green and orange. And this has yellow, which is opposite white. So these two are properly in. And now we have to put in other two that have green on them. So we have this one with green, white, and red. And this one actually is where it belongs because this one also has white and green as does this. It's just rotated wrong. So we're going to do R-I-D-I-R-D -I -I in order to rotate this properly. So uh, we basically need to align the pentacles in order to be able to turn this face, which we need to make an R turn right here. So you see this one is already aligned. Uh, this top one is slightly off. So let's turn that into place. Uh, the bottom one, and the back one actually is right here. We have to align it like this and uh, the bottom one so see four faces that we had to align just to make the single turn and also in this case you should remember that we're starting this algorithm with this right center facing us in case we get lost as we adjust the pentacle faces so we remember that the right one uh, the red one is facing us and the white one is on top and this way we keep our pers perspective more easily okay so the first step holding it like this <clears throat> we do an ri turn all right and then in, uh, we're going to have to do a DI. So we have to adjust the pentacle uh, faces again. We adjust the front one in preparation to turn the front, uh, the bottom face. We adjust the right side one. Uh, we check this one, the left side, we also adjust it. Uh, we check the back, also the back right there. We see we adjusted that one. And remembering that the red was in front and the white was on top. Now we're able to do DI. Now the next turn we have to do is R. Okay, so it's again, we have to adjust the pentacles. Uh, we adjust the front one. Top one is already good. We adjust uh, the back one. And the bottom one. We do our R turn. Next turn is going to be D. And uh, so we adjust the bottom face right here. This one is good. And the back one right there. Okay, now we do... D it places this here, and then we do one more set R I D I R D. It's going to put it in. Okay, so adjust the uh, front one in preparation for the R turn. Top one is good. Adjust the back one, and adjust uh, the bottom one. And do R I. Adjust the bottom face. Uh, I mean uh, the front one and the uh, one on the right. Left is already good. The back. DI, adjust the front one, back one, bottom one, keeping our perspective, red and uh, white, R. And uh, we don't need to do the last D in this case because it already puts it in. We need to do the D when we're going to be doing the corners on the top layer. But when you're doing on the first one, it doesn't matter. So this is in. 
Next, we have this one also has green, and it's going to have to go here. So first we place it underneath where it needs to go, so we do need to adjust the bottom layer, uh, adjust the faces in order to be able to turn the bottom layer. So we're adjusting this one, just this one right here, in the back also. Now we're able to turn the bottom layer, we turn this in underneath where it needs to go. Now technically you could do RIDR a few times to put it in, but those of you who are solving this cube, you probably know how to solve it two by two well. So you, you could put in like doing kind of a backwards RIDIRD. I don't really know the exact notation. I can think of it, I just do it automatically when I solve a two by two. So you basically you're gonna turn this face and put it in from this side. And uh, so in order to put it in from this side, we're gonna have to turn this face. So uh, let's say this is gonna be our left. So we adjust this. We adjust this, we adjust that right there, and the bottom one. Now, with all those adjusted, we're able to bring this down. And now we're gonna have to turn the bottom face to turn it in. So we have to adjust this, this one is already good. Adjust this one, and adjust the back one. So you bring this in, and we're gonna have to turn the left uh, back up. So we adjust this. Just the one on the bottom, the one on top is already good. Just the one in the back, and we bring it up. And so you see, all the green ones are good, and the colors you see red with red, yellow with yellow, <clears throat> orange with orange, and white with white. So, uh, so that's good. Now we turn the cube upside down, just like we would do a normal two by two solve using the beginner's method, and uh, we look at to see what we already have in place. Okay, so this one has orange white as as does this so this one is in its proper place orange yellow so this one is also in its proper place they're just both flipped wrong this one has uh, red white and this one has yellow red so these two are basically swapped so what we're gonna do here is gonna do the algorithm that swap these two as we do on a regular uh, two by two cube and it's gonna keep these two unaffected and it's just going to swap these two. So uh, the first uh, step of the algorithm is going to be a 2R. So we have to um, turn the pentacles to prepare for the R turn. So you see, turn the top one, turn this one in. The back one is already good. Uh, turn the bottom one. Okay, we have to keep our perspective uh, that the blue is facing us, yellow is on top. However, <clears throat> in the second portion of this algorithm, we are going to turn the puzzle like this. So it's going to be the orange one is going to be facing us at a certain point. So, okay, let's begin. 2R. Next is going to be a U-turn. So, we adjust the uh, pentacles to prepare for the U-turn. Like that. And uh, this one. And then we do U. And then we do another 2R. So, we have to adjust them in preparation for the next 2R. 2R. And uh, once again, it's going to be a UI. So we adjust the pentacles for the UI turn. UI. Now again, we do 2R. Adjust the pentacles accordingly. And uh, 2R. Now we're going to do a UI turn. What that means is turn the entire puzzle as a UI turn like this. Next is going to be 2R, so we adjust it. Just the pentacles, 2R. Next is a UI turn. UI. I'm gonna do two R, so we have to adjust the pentacles accordingly without losing our perspective. 2R. Next turn is a U. Adjust all the pentacles and do a U. And then the uh, Final one is going to be a 2R. Actually, I'm not sure if it's the final. Let's see. Yeah. 2R. And it uh, places them in. And now we're going to turn the corners into the proper positions. We're going to prepare it for a U turn. Actually, a UI. Do a UI. And now we see that this one with the white and orange is where it needs to be in correlation with this white and orange. Uh, yellow and orange. Yellow and orange. Red, uh, red and yellow with red and yellow, and uh, red, white, and red and white. So this one is actually already oriented properly. So we just need to do R I D I R D 
on each of the other ones and we could see because this blue is here and it's gonna rotate them counterclockwise so we're only gonna do one set per each one of R I D I R D. sometimes you need to do two sets in this case it's only one set here we're gonna put that corner into place do it on that one and that one is gonna put all the solve all the corners okay so from this position the first step is gonna be uh, our turn R I turn so we prepare prepare the pentacles turn them in order to allow for that R I turn okay so R I turn the pentacles to allow for the bottom face to turn and D I turn them like this R D that's once R I D I R puts this in and we do have to do the final D when we're solving the top layer corners D um, now holding the bottom layer steady we just turn the entire puzzle like this. We don't have to like readjust it to turn specifically the top layer. In this puzzle, we just hold the bottom layer and turn it like this to put this corner in right here. And from this position, we do again R I D I R D two times to flip this one. So we adjust the pentacles without losing our perspective. R I. D I. R D R I D I R D. And once again, we hold the bottom layer, we turn the entire top part like this to put the final corner in. Adjust the pentacles to turn the right face, and then we do RI. DI. R. D. All right. D I. R. And the final D turn is just going to align the corners with the top ones to the bottom ones, you turn it this way, do a DI turn, you see now corners are fully solved. So the two by two portion is now down. Now the second step is an easier one, which is aligning the centers with the, uh, with the corners. First we check to see if anything is already aligned and we see this orange center is aligned with these orange corners and the red one is aligned with these red ones. So these are already good. So we hold the cube like this with these to our sides. This is on our right and this is on our left. And then we see what we have in front of us. So we have a green center and we have the green corners here. So we could just uh, align for an R turn to bring this like an RI. And then we realign the left side to do a L turn and that's gonna realign all of them. So we align the pentacles to allow for that RI turn, RI. And you see it brought the corners which are green with the center which is green and now we align it for a L turn we do the L turn and you see green center green corners white white blue blue yellow yellow red red orange orange so the first two steps are now complete and the last step is fairly simple it's just putting in these pentacle pieces and once you understand the principle it's, it's very similar to how you would reduce uh, five by five centers
Um, okay, so let's start with yellow. So the way you do it, first, you, you, sh uh, you should put in like one of these uh, triangle pieces. Basically, the pentacle pieces have two types of pieces. They have the triangle pieces and they have these larger kind of pieces. So first you have to put in one of these triangle pieces like this. And then you're going to create duos of a triangle and one of these larger pieces in a different face. And you're going to bring it in here. So let's see what we have. Okay, so you see we have such a duo already here for us like uh, these two right here. So we put it into this side, which is, this is the side we could turn freely right now. And uh, so we turn this like this, the triangle facing here. And so we bring this in to connect to it like this. And then we turn this out of the way in order to return the corners back. And we have this in. Next. Okay, so next uh, we have these isolated triangle pieces with this piece, so let's do it like this. We turn this one down to bring this triangle piece down here, and this one we're going to bring it into to meet this one right here. So, bring it down, bring this up to meet it, kick it out of the way, and bring this back down to fix the corners. You always have to bring it back in order to fix those corners. So, we have this here we see where it's going to come in from the top or bottom and I see if we put it into here it's going to come into the top so this is positioned good so if we bring it up like this and then we bring it up it connects we turn it out of the way in order to return the corners as such next we position this one to meet with this one so we bring this down like this bring it up to meet this one bring it out of the way return the face to fix the corners now this one you see it's going to go into the up position so this is positioned properly so if you bring it here bring this up kick this out of the way bring it back down now the next the last one we do is going to have to create an entire three piece section and bring that in uh, entirely so uh let's see okay now we're going to have to turn some of the pentacles to do them to reduce it on a different uh, face. Let's see what we have. Okay, so let's do it like this. So uh, let's bring this one down like this. Prepare this here. And bring this one down like this. This yellow one here, which is going to meet it. Adjust the other pentacles to be able to turn this face. Bring this in. And I'm going to put it here. I'm going to bring this whole thing down in order to be allowed to connect with this. So I'm going to turn this like this. Uh, turn this one up here. Bring it down. And uh, like that. And we can bring it back up. Now, to put it in here, we simply turn this out of the way like this. And we prepare this uh, in order to be able to turn this left face. Okay, so we take this one, we bring this down, we put this yellow in, we bring it in. We have the first face fully completed. And we continue on the same way with each and every face until it's going to be solved. So let's see what we have next. Okay, so we have this green one with this triangle piece in. Now I'm going to start doing it a little faster. Okay, so this one, and if we this one should go in from the top. So we're going to turn this in like this, bring it in, back, this is in. We have another one here. It's also going to go in from the top. Bring it in. Turn it out of the way. Bring it back. Now we're going to have to switch faces to put this one in. So we adjust the pentacles. This is going to come in from, this comes in from the top. So we have to turn this like this. Bring this in. And uh, just back down. Now we're going to start building the triple piece. So we bring this into this to meet with this green one here, get it out of the way, bring it in, then we have that one there. So we're going to have to uh, do it this way. Let's see. Prepare like that, bring this down to meet with that, like that, get it out of the way, bring that up. Get this out of the way like this, prepare the pentacles to turn this right face, bring this up. Bring this in, bring this down. Next, orange, 
connect with orange, return the corners. It's going to come in from the up position. So we turn this with this triangle piece up, bring it to connect out of the way, return it like this, bring this little orange triangle piece here. This is going to connect with it, get it out of the way, bring it back. And this is going to come in from the top position. So bring it in like this out of the way back. And we want to get this out in order to connect these. So let's get this triangular piece into here. Bring this back. Now turn this in. Bring this down. It's pretty intuitive. You see, and this is this is going to come into the up position. So like this, down, back, back. Okay. Now we're gonna prepare this triple piece. Get this out of that face like that, bring this into the up position, connect back like this, line the pentacles, bring this down, bring this in, connect. Next, uh, let's see which one we want to do next. Okay, let's do the red one. Connect and like that. Bring that in, that in. Connect that, return it. It's going to come in from the down position. Connect this back. We make the triple piece section. Connect. Turn to bring this back. Turn this like this. Make this back. Like that. Get this out of the way. Align the pentacles down. That's done. This one, I think how we could do it. Let's do it this way. Bring this down, get this in like this. And then the last few pieces, it's pretty intuitive, similar to how you would do a five by five, no algorithms or anything like that needed. Um, let's see, just get this somewhere out of the way, bring this down, put this into the up position, that's how it's going to come into here, bring this back into the up position, turn this like this, bring this down, turn it in, and return it, and the entire puzzle is solved. Really fun puzzle, I really enjoy solving this, excellent turning quality, highly recommended. And so once again, it's you solve the two by two portion, you align the centers and you put in the pentacle pieces. I hope this tutorial is going to be helpful for those who watch it. And, uh, and yeah, thanks uh, for watching and happy puzzling.